Welcome back folks to Chicago 811. How the hell is everybody doing? Hope you guys are doing pretty good. We're on this big property behind me. We gotta locate the, the water main we gotta locate. So let's get out there. Let's see how successful I could be locating this ductile water main. Let's get into the video folks. Please like and subscribe. All right, let's go try and get this water main out of the way. You can see it throw out down there. And I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm right on top of the nut. Can you see that? Let me know if you can see this. I'm right on top of the nut. I had good success on top of the nut after fire hydrant before on my previous video. See it's touching the metal right here. I hope you guys can see this. Try to get it up so it's not touching any metal. All right, it's not touching any metal here. I put electric tape there. So the one I'm on, it's still on top. I'm on high frequencies. I'm getting 100. percent I'm on 9.8. Let's do a sweep. Tone right here. Oh, I got milliamps on this one. Almost 18, five feet, six feet. Six feet. See, I'm getting good tone on it. Like I said, milliamps on me, shit. Cast iron, six feet. And the bar goes down, all the way down. So this is my target point right here on the gas main, off that nut. Five feet, pretty good. And I'm about 125 feet away from that fire hydrant. Compass is straight, good reading. 
you can see I'm bumping up my receiver. I'm over at 100 already. Forcing the tone, trying to get the water main. And you can see it's turning. So what I'm, I'm going to do at this point here, if you guys ain't train on guidance mode, don't use it until you're fully trained on it. But I'm going to use guidance mode to see how far I can push it. So guidance mode, I'm getting a good response. And it's turning, okay. So still good response in guidance mode. Ow, almost dropped my hard hat. So you can see, it took me on an angle underneath these trees, the forest preserve, and let's see where it takes me. Okay, took me right to this valve right here, folks. So this water main took me right to this valve on the angle. So let's open this valve and see what this main's doing after I sweep. All right, that might be going to the building. So let's get back there and open that manhole, open that manhole and see what direction that water is going what direction the water main is going. So I got it on the angle right through here. So let's see if it lines up. So I could say off that valve, off the fire hydrant, I'm getting a, a good tone on it. In my last video, I went off this fire hydrant off the valve on a different location and got the Got a good, good response off these valves from the fire hydrant. So my recommendation, folks, if you have a hard time locating ductile, go off the valve, try it out. It might just work for you. All right, let's get back there, let's unhook, let's get back there to that valve and see what's in there. of water. I do see a pipe that's lying up there. So it's pretty much accurate off that fire hydrant valve. You can see it took me to that water valve, the valve over there, but it was full of water. I like to show you guys that pipe, but I barely saw the pipe shooting on the angle that way. So my marks were actually marked, so I'm doing pretty good on marking out water main. Not bad at all, ductile. So if you guys run to the issue and you have a fire hydrant nearby, my advice is go to that valve box. That box right there. Hook on to that, and you should get the same results as, as I did. You should get a good tone on the ductile. 
it would travel travel me about 250 feet you know I wouldn't go off the fire hydrant itself you wouldn't get a tone because there might be um, blocks on the main you might be sitting at some kind of center blocks but my my opinion my advice to you is go to that valve right there get at right out to the nut because the nuts steel and you should get a tone it should travel your way down all right folks please like subscribe have a great day